Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zachabane101, and welcome to Command & Conquer OpenRA. OpenRA is basically like a mod. A group of people have worked to rebuild Command & Conquer Red Alert and Command & Conquer Tiberium Dawn, as well as Dune, uh, to give us this more advanced version of the Command & Conquer Originals, uh, which is absolutely phenomenal, because these games are very difficult to set up and play, I find. Uh, especially on modern hardware. Unless you have an older PC running on an older version of Windows, you're going to be going through a lot of different things to try and get the older games to work. So this is a much easier way to play the titles and to have fun, and you'll be able to play with your friends and all that. But today, we're going to be doing a free-for-all match against a bunch of other normal AI. And just to show you what options we have for AI, we have Rush, Normal, Turtle, Naval, and then that's pretty much it. We can also open it up to the public, but we're playing uh, normal skirmish mode, not online. But there is an online mode for this, which is absolutely phenomenal. I, I had a little bit of fun playing that earlier. Um, there's also an options menu. I turned on explored map because personally I like explored map. I'm more used to explored map. Basically what it means is that you can visibly see everything around the map, but fog of war is still on, so you don't actually, you know, see the enemies moving around. You just have a better uh, awareness of the environment around you. It helps a lot for learning new maps, personally, I feel. Of course, uh, Command & Conquer veterans know that the, the map is typically blacked out around there, but personally, this is just what I like. Uh, don't hate, man. Don't hate. But, I mean, you can hate if you want. And then, of course, we have $5,000 starting cash. This is, I think, the standard. You can also bump this up to 20000 but I like to keep everything pretty standard when I play my real-time strategy games. We only start with an MCV, but you can also add in light support and heavy support for early game rushing or defense if you so need it. Uh, tech level, you can also stop super weapons like atomic bombs and things like that to completely eliminate your enemies. Um, typically, though, these uh, super weapons are quite necessary if a game goes on for a little too long, uh, and it can give a, a person an edge in winning the battle. And of course, you get lots of different game speeds. We'll just be playing on normal for now because it's a little bit easier when I'm commentating and playing a game at the same time. So without further ado, let's hit that start button, and without barely any time, starting up the game and we can even zoom out here and we'll grab ourselves a power plant so it's kind of obvious where all the enemies are going to be because they're going to be in these little corners of the map so explored map isn't going to be that amazing here but what we're going to do here we're going to make two ore refineries after we grab a barracks and uh, this little construction area here is where we can uh, build our units so what we can do we can drop these barracks down and we can start building up some rifle infantry. I like to build about five rifle infantry and five rocket infantry and just kind of start scouting the area and figure out who I'm going to be up against and hopefully not get caught off guard. And as you can see, it's much easier to kind of realize where all your units are because uh, in the previous versions of the game, it's very difficult to kind of see what you're looking at because uh, you're usually pretty zoomed in here, as you can see. Uh, and this is probably what it would be typically when playing a game and the whole right side of the screen would actually be completely covered up by the the build uh, menu, but this is a much more simplistic way of going about it So what we're gonna do here We're gonna build another power plant after we finish up our second refinery and we're gonna grab a war factory and a radar dome This will allow us to see the minimap uh, You don't you don't start with a minimap in this game although in this case, it might be a little bit easy to figure out where everything is. The bigger the map, the more difficult it's going to be able to see around, of course, uh, as we go along. And we may be getting ourselves some loot here. These are little drop planes, or drop planes, airdrops, that uh, are thrown around the map. Sometimes they go to the middle, though, so we're not going to be able to grab that anytime soon. Grab another oil refinery here next to the ore here. Uh, now, this is just typical ore. In Red Alert, uh, you do not get hurt by walking over ore, which is very nice for us, so we can kind of take advantage of that. All right, we're going to grab a little bit more power here. Now, I'm not building more infantry just yet, but what I will do is probably build myself a pillbox, which is going to be a little bit cheaper than the camo pillbox, which means enemies will be able to see it just fine. But personally, I don't really have that much resources, so I'm just going to try and defend myself as best as I can, and even go try and uh, get myself a few more soldiers here to kind of help defend the base. And I want to get another pillbox to kind of watch the two sides here, because if we get spotted, we're going to try and retreat back to base uh, and hold out as best as we can. Typically, though, you won't find the enemy attacking you too early on because they also don't want to be counterattacked and all that. Uh, and we're going to have a, a decent amount of troops here to defend. 
You can only build a certain distance away from your bases. I believe defenses like this can only go about two or three boxes away because uh, of the build area. But we should be okay. We're going to sneak in a little bit of extra resources here. I know that my refineries aren't particularly too close to the resources. But we're about to get ourselves a war factory to fix all this. So what we're going to do here is grab the ore truck. And this should hopefully allow us to uh, advance and get more uh, resources as fast as possible. What I kind of want to do is I want to start eating into the uh, ore down below. And that way we'll be able to get a lot more uh, army up and running as fast as possible. Uh, in fact, I may even build a second ore truck here because I need to dig away at this ore as fast as I can. And of course this... Um... Oh right, of course. I'm just a fool. I need to make sure that I get a little bit more power here because I think that radar dome... No, radar dome actually would have been fine, but I'm going to build that radar uh, dome a little bit later here. Just because I know it's eating into a lot of my resources. There we go, okay. Oh, okay, now we're getting some Tesla coils. So we do have the Russians to our left. Uh, Russians have Tesla coils and mammoth tanks and large tanks. They're a very tank-oriented team. So we got to be a little bit careful about what they decide to do, because if they go all out Tesla coils, that means our infantry are not going to be having a too fun of a time. So, uh, oh, spam out another one of these ore trucks, and we should be okay to maybe grab a light tank here, but I might just go ahead and get that radar dish. There we go. It's got about five riflemen, five more rocketeers, and let's say two tanks and a ranger or two. Now, once we get the service depot, we're going to be able to build another construction uh, site. Uh, and my plan is, once we get the construction site up and running, uh, let's actually... Yep, misclick. Once we get the uh, service depot up and running, uh, we'll be able to get another construction site uh, by building a secondary MCV. I want to have at least two bases so I can, you know, have a chance to rebuild as fast as I can. Because uh, if this construction site, if I were to repack this, I would not be able to continue building uh, new constructions and all that stuff. Which is extremely important. So the plan is keep building uh, constructions and buildings and all that stuff while pushing out and grabbing more resources and trying to stay ahead of the opponent. So there we go. We got our service depot. We're going to put that in the back there. Now we can go ahead and grab an MCV after we finish up getting the Ranger. I kind of wanted to sneak around and take a little bit of a peek at to, as to what we have going on over here because I did see a Tesla coil. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, Tesla coil just one shot that Ranger. A bit of a waste of resources, but I just want to have a little bit of a uh, an eye on the area. All right, perfect. We have a little bit of extra resources here. We couldn't even see what's in their base. So we're a little bit pincered here. But of course, everyone is everyone's enemy, right? So the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And hopefully, if we play things right, we'll be able to succeed. We have about five seconds left on that MCV, and we're probably going to need to build actually an ore refinery. I completely forgot to do that. You'll find it's actually kind of difficult to play and talk at the same time, especially with a game I'm not particularly experienced in. But let's just go ahead and kind of drop this construction site just down here, and we'll be able to get ourselves another ore refinery, and we'll try and eat away at this resource. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to build an ore refinery in there, I don't believe. Not with the space that we currently have. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to start building a lot of medium tanks while we hopefully can pump out some ore refineries. And all the uh, ore that's collected here, once that's finished up, we're going to start switching around our troops. So can we even get a point in here? I don't believe we can, unfortunately. So we're going to have to see if we can squeeze this guy right over here, which will be kind of blocking off the bridge, but that's perfectly fine. All right, awesome. So we have a brand new ore uh, guy, and we're actually going to get maybe one more after we get a few more tanks. How are we doing on infantry? We are spawning in more. And you'll see that it's kind of, uh, this is kind of how it goes a lot of the time, I find, is that you just want to keep spamming out all the resources, get some more turrets uh, as best as we can, and keep spending our money because now we're going to be really raking in the cash. Uh, and in this case, we might as well go ahead and grab ourselves a tech center. Now what I've done is I've actually remapped all the hotkeys to be more of a grid-based style hotkey system, which is a lot easier for me to control, uh, personally. Okay, actually we're not going to be able to get that uh, without going over our power limit once we get that tech center. We're going to need to get ourselves some more advanced power here. Each building costs a decent amount of power, and this is how much power we have left on the top right of the screen. So we got to play it nice and safe and not spend too much power. 
So we're going to have five power left over. We're going to have very, very low resources uh, right here. I almost, uh, I think I accidentally built a service depot. There we go. And we got our tech base. Now we're going to be getting the GPS satellite. Looks like we were some of the first people to do that. And now we've unlocked the access to the missile silo. Once that's built, we're going to be able to build a uh, atomic bomb, which will hit, give us a huge advantage over the enemy. So we're going to go ahead and build that, which is going to be very expensive on power, which means we need more advanced power. Thankfully, though, advanced power is pretty cheap. All right, looks like another one of the uh, enemies uh, that are part of the allies are going to be building a GPS thing there. I don't believe the Russians get access to that because they get access to the big tanky tanks. All right, let's build a few more rifle infantry, more rocket soldiers. Let's get a uh, Tanya in there, which is a sniper, basically. Commando, commando style character can blow up buildings and all that stuff. Uh, and now we can start pumping out a few more war factories and things like that to increase our production speed. Uh, in this game in particular, you uh, get one primary building and the way that you can build units a little bit faster is by getting more of that same building. It's going to keep spamming out everything as fast as I can. Which, uh, funny enough, can feel pretty slow at times, even though like I've been able to kind of build up a, a decent force here. I'll actually start setting a few more of my vehicles down below. I believe there might be an engagement down below there, too. Now, one thing we can do, we can actually build some concrete walls, which I might actually opt to do here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do this because it'll just help me defend my base. And one cool thing here, as I quickly build another war factory, we can actually build multiple walls at the same time, up to five, I believe. And we just move up just a little bit. We'll be able to kind of continue this wall over. Here we are. Oop. Doesn't work out so nice when the game decides to be rude. All right, there we go. So now we have a little bit of a base defended on this side. So if the enemy decides to move forward, we don't have to worry about them too much. We do have to worry about the enemy uh, flyers, though. Those guys are no bueno. All right, a few more pillboxes. Always useful. Just keep dropping those down. Oop. You know what? I don't want that power plant. No, thank you. All right, who else is trying to build an atom bomb? Looks like uh, the bright blue guys to my left are actually trying to build an atom bomb, and they actually got it out before me. So we're going to need to do something about that if we can. I think we should be able to, as long as we're smart about it. The enemy could very easily move up on us if we're not careful. But as long as we are crafty, as long as we are cunning, we should hopefully be able to hold them off. I'm going to get this AA gun to kind of defend against these helicopters, which I spotted recently. I saw a helicopter kind of moving along here. What are you doing? What are you doing, good sir? Why are you walking away? I just noticed that my uh, my vehicle decided that it might be a good idea to go straight through the enemy base. Which, uh, no sir, that would not be a good idea. Also, I've been completely forgetting to build more units here. So, okay, let's move over to the left and uh, push on our opponent. Well, they're hopefully distracted. Moving the tanks in slightly first. I have a few artillery units here. I would love to take out that uh, Tesla coil in a moment. There we go. Come on, guys. Take that down. There you go. They have a SAM site there, but luckily we don't have any uh, air. I'm not particularly a fan of air myself. I'm not very good at microing them around. I mean, hell, it's tough enough trying to macro everything out as well. I want to try and get a little bit more ore factories and try and take on the rest of these guys here. As long as we can just push and take out one of the opponents, we should be okay. And I did build up quite a significant force here. It's all about macro in this game, really. It's not too much strategy, I find, when I'm just moving in my troops like this to kind of wipe out a base. I mean, obviously, you could probably micro around your units a little bit better than me. I mean, focus on power nodes, things like that could definitely help a lot. For example, they have some flamers in there. Uh, friendly fire, definitely a thing in the game as well. So my artillery in the background could definitely kill us. Not so safe, right? But for now, this is the best we got, right? All right, let's keep sending down our troops. And looks like we just wiped out one of the opponents and that guy had the atom bomb. Now the next one is gonna be a green guy. And I probably wanna grab a scout now. Flyers are very good scouts. And I think I might drop in a flyer here. I'm actually going to remove the war factory. Let's get some air up and running. 
uh, and even grab another Tanya. Oh, we don't need an engineer here. Get some more infantry. Now, you see, if we zoom in on our guys, some of them have little uh, signs next to their name, like this guy here. He has a little sign next to his name. It means he ranked up in combat. He got a killer, a few kills, and was able to overcome his opponent. So we're going to grab a Hind, which is the cheapest version, and we're just going to try and fly it around. No real uh, skill going to be involved here. I, I, I don't even... Sometimes. Sometimes, man. My uh, my builders, they love to just kind of weird out, you know? Or not my builders, but, you know, my gatherers. My hunter-gatherers, if you will. I would like to take these guys out on the right, though. I'd like to take them out to dinner. And by dinner, I mean murder. All right, guys. Move out here, please. I'm going to make sure that we're still producing more of these lovely tanks. And what we're going to do, we're going to sell our wall. Just because we do not need this wall here. Now, I don't believe this is giving us uh, more money than what we started with by deconstructing the wall. I hope not. I have no idea if there's any abuse there. I'm sure anyone that's been like a, a fan of OpenRA could tell me in, in the comments below if that's the case. For the most part, I'm not too worried. I just really want to check out, though, what the enemy's up to. Well, we just kind of invade green. This looks like uh, pale green. Hopefully we get our GPS satellite up and running, because then we can actually see where all the enemies are at. You'll see that these uh, planes have a little bit more range in their vision, which is very useful for us. So it means we can kind of spy on the enemies just a little bit better. I want to get a little bit more artillery because I feel like we're losing some. Oh, and there goes our plane. Hey, but we still have a guy, and he's dead. So here's our uh, bright green over there. We want to get those guys before they get their atom bomb. We're about to wipe out another opponent. And this will allow us actually to move over our construction site. Because they have lots of ore, it seems. In fact, if I go over here, that is a lot of ore left over. Okay. So we are going to actually start building some ore refineries and just kind of spam out some of those. There we go. Construction site is up and running. Beautiful. Like the sound of that. And we're going to spam out a few more ore refineries. Let's move to the right as well. One thing I would love to do is maybe before we get these uh, artilleries, we're going to get an MCV and kind of take over the side base here, which I think might be the smarter move. And uh, we'll also need to make sure that we're defending our base. So let's kind of grab some pillboxes and some turrets. Do what we can. I'm going to watch my base over with just a, a few troops. Just a few troops. Not a whole lot, but just something here to kind of help out. And we head south, I'm pretty sure they got most of the ore there. Now, some of the ore, I do believe, destroys or gets blown up if there's a war going on, right? Lots of missiles going around, blowing up the ore. Not particularly safe, right? All right, cool. Let's keep moving our troops out. Try and see if we can take over the rest of the opponents. Enemy's about to get a GPS satellite. We already have our GPS satellite, so we can kind of see what's going on here. The greens looks like they are completely distracted. And the browns down here are moving over to, right, to try and take over the purple. So let's kind of move our troops upwards. Now that they seem to be kind of entirely distracted by this task here. This daunting task. So let's just kind of do whatever we can, whatever it takes to kind of stay alive. Maybe even build a little bit of a wall to kind of distract the enemy. Keep moving out, boys. Push on over. Lots of ore in the middle of the map. Definitely a, a point of contention. But we are able to kind of take over the enemies that are around us. And we got some general units there, which is very cool. All right, I'm going to control one here. Got a few more troops. How are we doing on resources? Uh, did we get ourselves... We did get ourselves an MCV. Let's move that MCV over here. Alright, boys. Move in. We do not want them getting an atom bomb. We have about 50 seconds, 58 seconds for our atom bomb. And we are not producing infantry, which I'm terrible at remembering to do. I do apologize. The worst gameplay ever of all time, right? Alright, there we go. Grab ourselves a few more resources. Keep pushing in, boys. Alright, as long as we're just keeping at it, we should be okay. 
Building more, or destroying their uh, power nodes is definitely very useful. I think we should be able to overpower them. Looks like they spent a lot of their resources, and green is actually attacking brown right now, which is really good. That GPS is really helping us out quite significantly. Get this pillbox in there, and we'll get ourselves the wall built up. Nice. I think we're going to be able to take out green, no problem. Let's keep building this wall. Nope. Oh, missed a little bit of that wall there. That's fine, though. Let's keep moving our troops over here. Down to the south, because we're probably going to take on brown next. Because it looks like uh, green decimated a troop. We do have an atomic bomb. So what we're going to do here is... Uh, launches a devastating strike. Let's do this right here. So that should do some significant damage. We just defeated green, and now all that's left is brown. We're about to get an atomic bomb landing down there. Now, I don't believe we're going to be able to see the spectacle, unfortunately. But here it comes, the bomb going down. Oh, there we go. A good amount of damage. Defeating a significant chunk of opponents. And let's keep uh, building some more barracks and some more ore refineries as we go around. Oh, I keep forgetting about the, the concrete walls. They're not too expensive, these concrete walls. But they're a little bit finicky when it comes to building them. Not that it's going to really be that much of a big deal. In fact, we can push in at this point. The enemy does have four minutes until they get their atomic bomb, which will do significant damage in compared to what we could do. Because we didn't really see too many troops on their side of the field. And if we go see here, let's get a few more artillery spots. We keep spawning in more troops. As long as we keep pushing in, we should be good. I think we did significant damage here, and they're on repairs. So if we can... We should be able to take them on. They have a few Tesla coils down here, which are going to be hurting, and also these uh, these fire nodes. But as long as we keep going, we should be okay. Keep going for the power, guys. There you go. A little bit more power. A little bit more power. They have a lot of advanced power here. Those are one of those mammoth tanks chilling out. Attacking them on both fronts allows us just to go completely nuts on them. And of course, we have Lots of money left over, and I could have played a little bit better here, but I think this is definitely a win, which I'm very excited for. And that went pretty well. This is actually my first time I've ever done a massive free-for-all like this, and I actually quite enjoyed it. I even got my first atomic bomb there. So there you go, 257 kills, 154 deaths on my side, and we completely annihilated the enemy. One of them, you can't even read the name because it blends in with the background of the conquest there. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Link in the below in the description below for you guys to go check out the Open RA mod. Go check it out. Go support them. It is very, very cool. I'm Akameen101. You can follow me here and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy.